Hi, it's James from Mission, and today we're configuring updates for the Camper Profiler. It's been a while since I did the last demo video showing the setup of pedals on the Profiler, and there have been a lot of firmware updates since then, and so the configuration's changed. So today, we are going to download an update to the firmware, we're going to install it on the Profiler, then we're going to set up the pedals and configure them for some basic operation. All right, ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the Kemper to the latest available firmware. And to do that, you will need a USB stick. And it's best to delete whatever you have on that USB stick. So use one that you don't have anything that you want to keep. And you can either just delete what's on there or you can completely format the USB stick. And of course, it depends on whether you're using a Mac or Windows exactly how you do this. I have a Mac here, so let's do it with that. You can just delete what's on there. And I did this and this worked fine for me. I could now put this in the Kemper and it would, um, it would install the necessary file system to, uh, to do backups and upgrades. Some people say that on a Mac you have to empty the trash when you have the USB selected, so we can certainly do that. So now that has completely emptied that USB stick. The other thing you can do is you can completely format it. So let's do that. On Windows you just right click and hit format. And on OS X we bring up the disk utility and we select the USB stick and then we select arrays and then we decide what we want to call it. We'll keep it as that. And then the format will choose FAT file system instead of the OS X file system. I think we need the, the MS-DOS type file system to work with the camper. So we'll do that. We'll hit arrays and it should erase and we're done. Now we can use this to put inside the back of the camper and the camper will format the USB stick with the file system that it needs for doing backups and upgrades. So we'll take it out and we'll go do that. Okay, we've inserted our blank USB drive into the back of the camper. And you can see now there's an option that comes up on the screen with one of the illuminated soft buttons that says external storage. So let's press that. And here are the options that we have available, backup, import, export, and format device. We are gonna format the device. And it asks if we're sure, which we are, and then we're gonna hit yes and then we have to wait for a few seconds while it formats the device. There we go, operation successful, that's done. We'll click OK, and now we can remove the USB stick from the back of the camper and take it back to the computer to download the firmware. Okay, so our USB stick has been formatted by the camper in the way in which it needs it, and we've taken it out, put it back in the Mac, and here's what we have. We have three folders, backups, which is where we can store backups of our configuration later on if we need to, OS update, which we're going to use for this, and then shared, which is where you can share profiles. So we're going to do OS update, and to get the latest operating system update, we'll go to kemperamps.com slash start and then down here we'll see download updates so we'll click on that and then here is the latest version of the operating system which is 3.3.0 so let's download that and then it asks you for your email address so there's mine and password if you uh, don't have a login you'll have the option down here to be able to to log in and create an account you'll need that to be able to download the firmware. I already have mine, so we'll log in. And then here we are. 
download. And now we can see up here it's saving the file and we'll be able to add that to our USB stick here in just a moment. So I'll come back as soon as it's downloaded. Okay, I'm back. The download has completed. It's, uh, it's about 8.8 .8 megabytes, so it's not very big. It took about 10 minutes to download, so I think my internet connection must be taking it easy here this afternoon. I'm not sure why it took as long as that, but it's done, and it's a zip file, and here it tells you what the release number is. So we are going to unzip that, and let's take a look and see what we have. So we have some instructions here on how to update the operating system. So that's basically, we're going to follow those instructions here right now. Um, and then there's a couple of documents explaining the details in here about this particular release and fixes and new features and so forth. Here's the one that we need. This is our operating system binary file. So we're going to copy this. And then we're going to head over to our USB stick, which we formatted earlier. And then we're going to go to the OS update folder. And then we're going to put it in there. And that's done. And now this is what we need to take out of the computer and run it over to the camper and perform the firmware update. So let's go. So now we've uploaded the firmware to the USB stick and inserted it back into the back of the Kemper and now it sees that that file has been added and it's asking us if we would like to install the operating system update and we're going to select yes and it's beginning the update now and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, here we have the Mission EP1K P pedal, which is designed for use with the Kemper Profiler. It's available in both green and black to match the two different finishes available on the Profiler. This is the green one, obviously. And you'll see on the left-hand side, you have two outputs. This is output one, this is the pedal out, and output two is the switch out. You'll connect these up to the switch pedal connectors on the back of the camper. In this example, we are going to connect up output one to input one, and we're going to use a TRS or a stereo connection. You'll see this has a tip, a ring, and a sleeve, and we need a TRS connection to connect the pedal to the camper. For the second connection, we are going to use a TS connection. So this just has a tip and a sleeve. We're going to connect that to output two, and we're going to connect that to the second input on the back of the camper. Then we'll be able to configure how we use the pedal within the software. You can configure the pedal to be a volume control, or a wah, or a pitch control, and then you can configure the switch to different effects so for example, I can set the switch so it will turn a wire effect on and off. And then when I move the pedal up and down, 
that will control the wire frequency. So let's give that a try and see how to set that up. So here we are connected up. Again, I have a TRS or stereo cable connected to output one, which is the pedal out. And I have a TS or mono cable connected to output two, which is the toe switch out. And they are connected to input one and input two on the rear of the camper. We're gonna use input one here for the pedal and input two for the switch. When we get to configuring the software, you'll see that you can configure these for expression pedals, for switches, or for expression pedals with switches, which is what we have here, and that's all configurable from the camper software. So let's get started with that. Okay, so let's get this thing programmed. I have the camper profiler turned on, and it's switched to browser mode, and I have the EP1KP connected as we saw earlier. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the system button and that's going to bring up my system page and then depending on what you have set and what you used previously the page is going to show something different it saves your last position so you're going to want to page across using the left and right page buttons to the pedal one position pedal one is where we have our expression control connected and you can see here I have a calibrate option at the top so I'm going to move the pedal up and down and we should see it calibrate between maximum and minimum position so that's working good at the bottom I have these two controls here for mode and function mode is the pedal type the EP1KP is a pedal type 1 so we should set it to that certain other expression pedals will be pedal type 2 and then you can also set that input to a switch if you have a switch connected there but we have the pedal connected so we're going to leave it there and then the function control sets which type of function we want the pedal to have so you can choose volume and you can choose wire and pitch control and the monitor volume which is the volume control from the monitor output from the back of the camper we're going to leave it set at volume now to get to the next input which is pedal 2 we'll just page across and here we're going to set it to the switch type and we have a mono switch set here because that's what we have in the EP1KP so you want to set it to mono switch mode. Up here is the polarity switch. We are normal polarity. If you have a different type of switch you can set that to inverse polarity which is I believe a normally closed switch but we are a normally open switch in the EP1KP so we'll leave it at normal. And then down here is what we can do with the, with the switch, what effect we want it to control. And for this demo, it's set to uh, reverb on and off with the tail. So let's leave it there. There's no save. You just need to uh, exit back out. And then those should be programmed. Okay, so I plugged the guitar in. And uh, let's take a look and see if everything works. The expression pedal should be controlling the volume at this point. So let's see if it does. seems to be working good. One nice feature of the volume control on the camper is that when you go all the way into heel down which is mute mode it turns the display into the tuner mode so now we're in silent tuner mode so now I can tune the guitar and then as soon as I hit the volume control as normal. Now we also program the switch in the expression pedal to work as the reverb control. So you can see up here we have the reverb light and it is engaged right now. So if I hit the switch on the pedal that should turn that off. Which it does and now the volume control should still work with the reverb disengaged. Turn the reverb back on, I can just hit the switch. 
Okay, so let's change things around a bit. Let's reconfigure the pedal so that it's a wire pedal. So we'll go back into system and then depending on what our page setting is again, uh, we'll page over to the appropriate setting. We need to be on pedal one. And you'll remember that we had that set to volume. So let's change that to voila. And then for the switch, let's change that so that that turns the wire function on and off. Now this we're going to have to configure based on uh, where we have the wire configured as a stomp. Now in this particular preset, I have the wire set up as a stomp in position B. So position A is my compressor, and then position B is the wire. So you'll need to have a wire installed in that particular preset in order to be able to turn it off. And my wire in this one is in position B. So I'm going to turn the switch control until it says stomp B. Stomp B on off. So this will now activate my stomp B, which is my wire, and then my pedal one will control the wire position. All right, let's try that, see if it works. So there we have it, there are our instructions on installing a Mission EP1KP expression pedal with the Kemper Profiler. If you remember, the first thing we did was we configured a USB stick for use with the Kemper. Then we downloaded the latest Kemper firmware from the Kemper website. We installed it on the Profiler. Then we set up a Mission EP1KP expression pedal with the Kemper. And then we configured the software to use the pedal as both a volume pedal and a wire pedal. If you have any questions about this video or about any of the Mission products, you can reach customer service at info at missionengineering.com or if you have any questions for me, you can contact me directly at james at missionengineering.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.